don't know what we doing, they know we're around Start off from the ground, always gotta hold it down Now they think they got it, cause they sign up on a doubt it But there's only so much money in the year that is allotted Plus you probably don't even know how it is divided Ooh, What's up people of YouTube, this is True Warlord here Bringing you guys another video to my channel And today I'm going to be talking about the six best weapons within Infinite Warfare that I used in the beta So things might change a little bit by the time the game comes out But I feel like for the most part um, what we played in the beta is pretty much gonna be what we're gonna get with the game You know with the addition of some things and, and maybe some weapon balancing, but I doubt it uh, It was basically a demo. So to get this going here uh, I have a lot of issues with some of the guns. I'm not gonna lie. I found a lot of weapons that I didn't necessarily hate uh, But they were not very dependable. They were very uh, Weird to use if that makes sense like I it was like one game. I would do really good with it and then I would do good with it three more games, and then for the next six games, I would just shit the bed with it. And it didn't make any sense to me. Uh, so basically, this top six, I guess, typically I do top tens, but this top six is basically the six guns that I use that I think deserve to be messed with when you guys get the game. If you have not played the beta at all, and you're just gonna you're gonna pick up the game, uh, these guns will be really good to grab and start using pretty much right away. Some of these guns you will have to unlock, but I think there might be one or two in here that you can use right off the bat. So at number six, I have the Karma 45. Now the reason why I have the Karma 45 here is because it seems really um, hit and miss for me. It's not the gun, it's not the consistency of the gun. I feel like whenever I used it, I definitely knew what I was expecting. Um, but when I did use it and I did know what I wanted to do with the gun I did do really well with it with that being said that did not start happening until Towards the end of the beta for me So a lot of the time with this gun I was really not that impressed until I started to kind of mold uh, Myself to the way that the gun plays which is in my opinion. It's more of a slower SMG um, but If you guys want to use this gun that, that that'd be a pretty good idea. I think that the gun is it's good and it's dependable, which is more than I can say for a lot of the guns on this list. Um, it is dependable as long as you intend to use it how it's meant to be used, which is pretty much you play slow, you don't rush too much with it, you just kind of you check your lines of sights in a medium to close range area, and, and this gun will treat you pretty well. Moving on to number five here, we have the Type 2. I personally like the Type 2 a lot. Uh, my friends were not a fan of the Type 2, but I think it was really, really good. It was really nice to be able to switch in and out of uh, the, the the close range dual SMGs and then the assault rifle form. I think that they did a really good job of making sure that just because of the fact that it is an assault rifle that can switch into SMGs and it doesn't suck at assault rifle ranges because I was really worried about that heading into the beta um, and it proved me wrong. So you can still use this gun at medium to long ranges pretty well if you get a little far out um, a little bit too much past the medium range, it's it's not very good. But a lot of the times in these maps, you won't find yourself needing that. Uh, and you can use it in close ranges. So it does almost feel like a hybrid SMG type situation, along with you being able to break it into basically dual wield FMG9s from Modern Warfare 3. So with that being said, this gun I feel like needs to be on the list. But at the same time, there were issues with consistency with this gun. I feel like I was using it the way that it should be used, you know, medium to kind of long distances, and then if you're to go into buildings or into objective areas where it's really close quarters, you break out the dual wield SMGs. Now, there were times where the dual wield SMGs would just wreck and destroy everything in its path. And then there were times where it felt like I was not able to get kills with it at all. So just know that going into using this weapon. Moving on to number four here, we have the FHR-40. Now when I first started using this gun in the beta, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the best gun in the game, hands down. I'm typically an assault rifle player, this is an SMG. Uh, and I was just blown away. I was like, this gun is absolutely insane. And I would say I probably put in two to three hours of gameplay with this gun by itself before it started to kind of do poorly for me. So with that being said, it's still a really, really good SMG. It's got a really high fire rate. A lot of people like the RPR Evo. I personally did not like it. So this was basically the gun that you could go to instead of the RPR Evo because it has, technically I think it has a higher fire rate, um, but I do really, really enjoy it. So if you guys can use this gun, uh, go ahead and pick it up and use it. But once again, dependability, not really there. It's kind of inconsistent. Uh, at times, it feels like I should be getting kills that I'm not. I feel like I'm losing gunfights up close to NV4s and stuff like that, and I don't really think that's uh, something that should be happening. Moving on to number three, we have the NV4, actually. The NV4 is a very dependable assault rifle. 
Um, I didn't find myself in too many situations where I felt like it was not going to perform where I wanted it to. Um, it's basically the perfect all-around assault rifle from any Call of Duty game. So if you were to go back to Black Ops 2, for example, the, the, the assault rifle that comes to my head when I think of dependability was the, the MTAR. There was some sort of an MTAR variant of, of that series of guns in that game. That was a dependable assault rifle. You could use that gun in pretty much any situation. Um, and then when you go to Modern Warfare 3, the uh, M4, the M4A1 assault rifle, very dependable. And I feel like it's the same situation with this gun. It's a very dependable weapon, um, and you should definitely pick it up and try it out. It has some strong suits, which is definitely the longer ranges. The closer you get uh, to people, the less useful it's going to be. You're going to find yourself getting melted a little bit more. And I would also say, I don't I don't mean to, to, to push camping onto anybody, but I would also say that playing very slow, playing uh, power points, power positions on different parts of the map where you can overlook a really open area is where this weapon does best at. I do not recommend running around with it, uh, but if you want to defend an objective, if you want to be playing Domination, try and capture B right away and then hold that objective, this is the gun to use for that. Moving on to number two here, we have the Volk. So, we got the Volk, we were able to use it uh, a little bit into the beta when they released more uh, levels and, and a couple more guns for us to use. And I personally like the Volk a lot. I think it's going to be a really dominant assault rifle. Um, I, I didn't use it enough to really be able to say it's not dependable, but I did run into a couple situations where it's like, I really feel like I should have picked up that kill. Now that might not be the guns issue along with the other guns on this list. It could be connection issues. So. Keep that in mind going into using these guns if you have doubts and stuff like that. There could be a lot of connection issues from beta uh, that could possibly be resolved when the actual game comes out, which that, that would be the best scenario for everyone because a lot of these guns are really solid and I feel like it could be a good year for Call of Duty when it comes to weapons. Moving on to number one here, we have the K-Bar. And the K-Bar is my favorite assault rifle hands down. Um, there was a couple of times where I thought maybe it wasn't very dependable. But literally, like, maybe two games out of all of the games that I used it. When I initially got into the beta, I did not like the K-Bar. I was not impressed with it very much. But the more I used it, once again, using it how you're supposed to be using it, you're supposed to use it as if it's a SMG assault rifle hybrid. So basically, the Razorback from Black Ops 3, the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2 and 3, it feels like it's supposed to be used like that. And I can really appreciate those types of weapons because I, I, I've always thought of myself as a assault rifle player in pretty much every Call of Duty, but I really like to rush. I really like to get in their face, but I don't like the low damage of SMGs because there would be times where I'm in, you know, a, a strong power position where I can just pick people off coming out of spawn or whatever, and I can't do that with an SMG, but I can with this gun. Once again, you get into the longer ranges. It, there's a little bit of recoil there. It's not as um, trustworthy when it gets into those ranges, but other than that, this gun is really, really good. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this and everything like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, use code NFAM for 10% uh, off of any of the uh, Fatal Grips. The link will be down in the description, and there will also be a link down there for some Catalyst Mints, which is basically G Fuel in mint form. Also, Nova Gaming has its uh, merch store up down there, so if you would like to go down to the description and click on that and go check out our uh, hoodies, sweatpants, t-shirts, and soon-to-be hats. They might be up there when you look at it. I'm not really sure, um, but there will be hats very soon. Anyways, guys, deuces.